Hello everyone. Welcome to Seda Lighthouse Project Season 2. Today, we're going to discuss about the Part 2 series of tap to graph the conversion of tabular data to graph data using Neo4j. Myself, Rupesh Bharadwaj KR and with my colleague Manoj Kumar. Graph convolution networks requires input data to be in a graph structure format. Today, the biggest challenge among industry people is how to convert tabular data into graph formatted data and then it is utilized by GCNs for its powerful complex tasks. Once again, I welcome all to the part 2 series of tap to graph using Neo4j. Let's look at the tech content covered in this video. We will be discussing in detail about how to create database and import CSV tablet data, how to convert the nodes and edges, exporting of graph data to graph ML format, and understanding the process of conversion in them. And finally, importing graph ML data in Python using NetworkX library. And let me hand over to my colleague Manoj here. Hello everyone, myself Manoj Kumar. Today we will be discussing about how to import CSV file in Neo4j browser and also how to export your data into a GraphML format. So let's create a new project here. All the projects will be in a project folder. So let's give it a name. So let's add the DVMS. So And this is the version according to the project requirement and everything. So I'm using 5.8. Let's create. Once the DBMS is created, you can see the details here. And you can add the plugins. So install them. So you can, if you want to upgrade to the latest version, you can see here in the upgrade, upgrade folder. So Let's get and start this. It will take a couple of minutes to start because at in the beginning it has to create the new database. So it will take a couple of minutes. Once the project is created successfully, let's keep the our data file in a specified path. So let's go to the path. Here, let's keep the file. The file is not in a proper path, uh, we will get an error. So let's keep it in the appropriate pro project in a specified path. So let's go in the browser. So now it got connected. So let's And count as row. So let's see if the file is in a correct path or not. So let's see. It is so it in a correct path. All the data has been loaded here. So let's go with the node and kind of and its connections. you are giving the right names and in a proper space and everything otherwise we will get a multiple errors if, even if the name is not matching with the file file it's now uh, it we will get a multiple errors so let's run it so let's see the nodes and connections the appropriate variable to get the nodes and connections so as you can see uh, all the data has been loaded so we have only used that two two nodes connections itself so this is all we have got so let's kind of add one more node here
Okay. Scheme. Rolex match. We can specify the node connection so from which node you want to connect it so from here if you want to connect it or else from the other node you want to connect the next node so this please specify where to where it goes otherwise uh, you won't get the results as you expected if you give it a wrong direction so i want to connect the node from this node uh, from the AR code so i'm giving it from the AR variable so it has been executed so let's see the result so it's been added successfully so once the uh, nodes and connections are finished so if you want to export the uh, the data into the other format so we, here you can see the export options so there are only two export options available so if you want to export in a graph ml format so it's it's not available here even if you write a query here to export in a graph ml format it might uh, throw an error because mostly there won't be uh, there will be another step we need to do if you if you have done it already it, it's very good it will be yeah everything will be executed successfully if not we will get an error so let's see the error Oh, I written a query. Let's give a file format in which format we want to export it. If you have any specified uh, folder or anything you want to export it, so you can give us path here. Otherwise, you can just give it an uh, empty brackets. So now let's run. It will definitely throw an error because because this file this this is missing here in a config file. This what is missing. The export is not enabled. So to do that, we have to enable it. True. Otherwise, this query won't execute and you can't export your file in a dot graph ML format. So to do that, let's go to the our folder. This is the project and this is the all these other project files should go to the config folder so now here we can see all the neo for neo for the config for files everything but we can't see the apoc config file so this is the main thing we are missing here so this thing has to be done manually because it won't be whenever you are creating a project this file won't create automatically this thing need to be done manually if it's not there you can't the file so i have it already so i have taken it and after creating it in a dot config apoc dot config you have to just paste this uh, this line in the file and run it before you run it even if you run it again it will throw an error because you you kept the file but you haven't those changes hasn't been applied to the project so for that you have to restart the project so once the dbms is restarted so let's go to the near for the browser and see it got reconnected again so let's execute this again 
uh, now see uh, the file has been created successfully and I think let's check in the folder so let's go to our import folder so see uh, file has been created so that's it uh, thank you very much Manoj for showing us how to convert the tabular data into graph data using Neo4j and then further conversion of GraphML formatted data. So now we have a GraphML formatted data and let's see how can we utilize this data and, and to visualize in a Python and, uh, and for the computations as well. So let's jump on to our Jupyter Notebook here. So first of all, we have imported our network X library, which is a main important library to which reads a GraphML formatted data. And then uh, it allows us to do the further adjacency matrices or like other computation. So we have read it in a graph uh, in a network X library, and then we are, we are visualizing it here. So this is our exactly uh, nodes and the connected edges, how we mapped in a near 4 j So now uh, we, uh, once we get this, Next, next step is our like um, converting the nodes and edges in a like adjacent matrices format. So here we use like a, uh, yeah, like a PyTorch library for that. If you watched our previous content, we, we showed how manually we can do this and uh, do the adjacency matrices and everything. So now we are in the end of this video. In our next video, we will be explaining in detail about how to implement a graph neural network with our example. And stay tuned very much. And thank you very much for watching this. Thank you very much for watching part 2 of Tap to Graph series using Neo4j. To know more about the graph neural networks, please watch our playlist. Stay tuned for GCN implementation with an example. For more information, please scan the QR code displayed on the screen. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.